What was the dumbest rumor spread about you? That I was dead. Was late getting back to uni so my buddies decided it'd be funny to tell people I'd been killed in Europe. The story started with killed in an accident and blossomed to got a girl pregnant. Wouldn't marry her. Decided to marry her. Killed in an accident. One girl I knew actually believed it and cried when we bumped into each other. Had no idea she cared. Well that ending proves that we sometimes take some people for granted. That my parents were Dr. G dealers. And they involved me in selling Dr. G's at my elementary school. What actually happened was that I gave my friends a dollar each from my lunch money so we could all buy cookies. Somehow the rumor spread all the way to the principal. So he dragged me to his office and lectured me about not giving my money away in front of other people. Could have been worse. The principal could have dragged you into his office to hook a brother up. Now that's a 420 move. I was once sick for an entire week of 9th grade. Somehow it spread that I went to Hawaii. Even a teacher made a comment. I have no idea how the F that started and nobody would tell me why they thought it because they thought I was just being cheeky by denying it. Who in their right mind would deny going to Hawaii? That doesn't make much sense. Someone in an affair with a Hawaiian. That I have three testy less. I moved from Scotland to England at like 13. I had a thick accent and I got a lot of S for it so almost subconsciously I slowly started to like fake an English accent. Was really stupid as I'd flip back to Scottish as soon as I got home. After I left school I dropped the accent but by that time the majority of people I knew in the small town I was in. Had met me as English spliff wizard so when I'd see people they'd be like WTF happened to you? Why are you suddenly Scottish? I used to just make s up like I had a voice transplant and this is all they had but eventually it stopped. Roll on a few years and I'm back in town having a drink with some mates. I get talking to two guys and when I mention my name one is like oh s you're that guy who pretends to be Scottish and so now apparently there's a fable around the town of some English kid who one day was just like f this I'm Scottish now. And the kid is me. Class. This was spread by an adult in a volunteer organization I was part of. Me. Happily married. Running for a leadership position. Her. Many years married to someone running for one of the other positions. Apparently she didn't want me on the leadership team because she told people I had the hots for her husband? Who was? Bless his heart. A nice guy. But homely. I respected what he'd done to achieve leadership in the organization but could not have been more uninterested in that aspect of him if he had been a cow patty. I didn't know anything about this until after I lost the election. She also started a rumor about two other adults who were friendly, but not doing anything untoward. Unfortunately the wife of the man believed that rumor and it totally ruined a number of relationships and events because she wouldn't permit them to attend the same meeting or event. I never understood what motivated that person to spread those types of rumors. When I was 21 and in college, I worked with a boy who was a senior in high school. His girlfriend broke up with him about two weeks before prom for another guy. I offered to go with him. The girl was dumped by her new boyfriend a few days before prom and wanted my coworker to take her to prom. But he said no, as he was going with an older woman. At prom, I was quite the topic of conversation. This girl had come by our store when I was working. And she and her friend told everyone I was a BTCH who had multiple children with multiple baby daddies. I don't even go here. Anyway. Prom was nice. Dinner before was great. And after the dance I went home alone and had many legal drinks in my child-free house. When I was in grade 1 some girls thought it would be funny to tell everyone I had boy private parts which upset me greatly. I don't remember this but my mother has told me that during an assembly I was talking with the people around me and it was brought up and I felt the need to stand up and pull down my pants and undies in front of everyone. I cringe every time I think about it. In middle school some sub that no one knew that looked like a narc pulled me from class because of a family issue. Walked me out of the school to my mom. Somehow this turned into the sub being a cop. And it being a cop car. And I was in trouble for something. One rumor a few weeks later was that I had gotten in trouble for bringing tons of huge guns to school or something. I was like guys. I'm still at school. I told you what happened. That I licked the top of the pizza box when someone threw it in the garbage. Some people are f king stupid. Obviously it would have been the inside of the box. It wasn't mine. 
but my friend is allergic to peanuts and someone started a rumor that he was lying. So, someone waved a peanut butter sandwich in front of him. That started a allergic reaction. We were in fifth grade. Closing parenthesis. In fifth grade, these two girls that hate me once told the class that I cheat on tests by looking at other people's answers. My classmates avoided me for months because of that. In India we cheat and brag about it. In Portugal it's perfectly normal to ask for people to help you cheat LMAO. My entire class sits in a specific way for everyone to be able to cheat if they want. That I was gay. I like girls. But you never see me with one because girls don't like me. Honestly. You don't see me with guys either. In middle school someone started a rumor that I was a voodoo priestess, stereotypical Hollywood voodoo. Nothing like the real thing. I'm white and live in Canada. People believed it. They'd shriek and run when they saw me. At the end of one year a girl who had been nothing but awful to me asked if she could sign my yearbook and her signature was basically her pleading with me not to curse her. Even in my first year of high school I had a few people who didn't go to my middle school walk up and ask me if it was true that I did voodoo. Thankfully it died down after that. As a child many kids thought I was gay because I had long hair. Haha <laughs> I had hair down to my elbows, I'm a guy people though I was a girl when I first went to elementary school in 5th grade. I had been homeschooled before that. So nobody knew me lol. I cut his all off and got a normal kind of fade haircut and everybody thought a new kid no one knew about had came to school. Didn't have many friends before that. It was weird because I made a lot after I cut my hair. Wacky world out there. Also some kids were convinced I was gay. While I had a girlfriend. A co-worker told several people I was having an affair with our boss. To add to it. She said I was the one who told her about it. I'm a woman. My boss was a gay man. No. We were not having an affair. It's kinda a too fair. My ex was spreading rumors my new girlfriend was pregnant by someone else. While my girlfriend now wife was dating a girl. Then the rumors grew to me only dating her so the kid would have a dad. Then once we got engaged it spread to we were only getting married to save her the disgrace of having a baby out of wedlock. Here's me favorite part. The timeline. We dated for 11 months until got engaged. We were engaged for like 14 months. We had our first kid at almost 3 years of marriage. So that's quite the gestational period she had. And the kid looks a lot like me so that's suspicious for him to be someone else's. That I told my entire preschool class that Santa wasn't real. It was actually a different kid with the same first name as me. And I hadn't even been there when it happened. So I learned the truth about Claus from my enraged and screaming mother calling me a liar. I am now 32 and I still hate Christmas. Anytime I made a male friend a rumor would spread that I was madly in love with them. I never did. And never had romantic feelings for anyone regardless of gender. I honestly thought of them as friends. But because of kids doing that stupid s it caused them to be self-conscious and they'd end up insulting me or whatever and stop being friends with me. Even as an adult now some of my female friends joke around that I would hold interest for one of their male friends if we end up having long discussions, usually about TV series games or whatever, and immediately their male friends get defensive about it. If I say anything I'm seen as lying. If I don't it's like I'm confirming it. I just roll my eyes till they get over their own ass. Honestly people who do this need to get their heads smacked. It really fucks with a lot of people and gives the whole idea that men can't be friends with women and women can't be friends with men without some kind of romantic feelings being involved. Sometimes a friend is just a goddamn friend. That I had mad computer skills because I was browsing Reddit at work. None of my coworkers had ever seen a website that was just text with some thumbnails instead of blinking ads covering 80% of the page. My entire family, and some folks IK, think I'm insanely good at computers. That if I wanted I could hack into something. Nope. I have no clue about that lol. I just looked up how to use batch coding, and trust me it's insanely easy. Mostly just copy and paste. Gotta admit though. One of my teachers saw me messing with CMD. And recommended me to a mechatronics teacher. Got that class the next semester lol. Good for you. All I got was a crash course in PowerPoint. That I sold sandwiches in school. How do you even start a rumor like that? Let us pray some people from my school sees this. 
that a platonic male friend and I were dating because we studied in the same part of the college library every night Sunday through Thursday. It was just the part with the most comfortable chairs. Yeah but in anime if people study together they want a bone. Even worse. They might want to walk home together or even. God forbid. Hold hands. That I was a lesbian. Growing up a guy was convinced I was a lesbian. I just didn't fancy him. I didn't bother correcting him either. He told everyone I was but you know what who cares? It didn't bother me and definitely didn't affect my love life. Got hit on by a few women but I was flattered. My friend and I had a guy start a similar rumor when she turned him down after he tried to get handsy with her at a party. So he decided go all around afterward telling people she turned him down cause she was lesbians with me. Honestly it was pretty funny at the time cause I had a steady boyfriend. So when people would hear about it they'd come up to me and be like you're dating a guy right? And I'd be like yeah and they'd go I told him you weren't a lesbian. Back when Five Nights at Freddy's was popular. I was in middle school working on a computer. I wanted a cool desktop background of one of the characters. So I searched it up on Bing Images. Which was the default search engine on our school network. Bing had a tab between the search bar and the images where it says other people searched for and lists a bunch of other popular terms. Well, it just so happened that a lot of people were searching up FNAF porn on Bing. A classmate saw the search term, and I became the kid who searched up FNAF rule 34 on the school computers. FCKU Bing. The funniest was in high school. My classmates thought that I could blow things up with my brain. To this day I wish that were true. The worst was also in high school. I had a teacher, one I liked and trusted, stage an intervention because the rumor was that I was a lesbian, a rumor since junior high and something I never confirmed or denied, and that I was abusing my girlfriend, a friend and nothing more. To this day, the idea that this teacher I liked and respected could believe such a thing still bothers me. Her delivery was very much, you need to stop this as opposed to, let's talk. Single quote. That I was kidnapped and being held in my boyfriend's basement while he doctored GGED and starved me. The police showed up to check on me after that particular rumor spread. That I gave my boyfriend a HANDJB on the boosie very much did not. I like hadn't even seen AD at that point in my life. It was so outrageous that the people who tried to spread it became the BTT of the joke for spreading something that literally nobody would believe. This happened to me. Except I'm the guy. First girlfriend, childhood best friend was sleeping with her head resting against my shoulder. The substitute bus driver thought she was doing SXUAL acts. Stopped the bus. Called her to the front. That was the last time I ever saw her. Her parents pulled her out of school and sent her to live with her grandparents across the country immediately. I got suspended. I'd heard her parents wanted to press charges but nothing ever came of that. And her friends hated my guts afterwards for thinking I pressured her into it, even though we didn't do anything. Someone was spreading a rumor that I didn't have my license, wasn't allowed to drive. I had been licensed for years and was regularly seen driving work vehicles around property. On top of that it was even one of my job duties to drive a 26-foot box truck up a winding mountain pass about twice a week for supplies and was seen in it a lot. Never figured out who started it.